Now I gotta ride or die. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Sean's Monte Carlo from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. And as you can see as we pulled in, I am using the Vamos for this build. And out of all the options I had on GTA, it was really out of two cars. This, the Vamos, or the De A Sabre Turbo. Now the Vamos is loosely based around a Chevy Nova, whereas the Sabre Turbo is loosely based around a Chevy Cutlass. So both from the Chevrolet family and you can see that when you put them side by side they are very similar cars with very similar customizations the reason i went with the vamos in the end is mainly because of the headlights so without any further ado guys i'm just going to jump into it i'm going to go through all the options that i chose for this build and as always we're going to start with the armor we got 100 body armor then we went to the brakes and got the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we stayed stock and also for the rear bumper we say stock then for the engine we went and got the level 4 engine upgrade, for the exhaust we went and grabbed the big boy exhaust. Then we moved on to the fenders. Now I purchased the paint arched extensions, mainly because the Monte Carlo from Tokyo Drift actually looks like the rear part of it has got some sort of wide body attached to it. And if we go to the stock fenders you'll see we do have a trim and also when you go down to the trim delete it's just like these little flimsy fenders that flick over or arches that just flick over not the best uh, so when you move down to this that looks a lot better and a lot closer to the Monte Carlo from Tokyo and Drift in my opinion then after that we went to the grill and purchased the exposed intercooler for the hood we went and purchased the carbon hood it is a shame that there's no carbon hood with like the cowl induction or some sort of raised bonnet but at least we do get a carbon version because again unfortunately when you go to paint this car um, when you do the primary it changes the whole car I mean on some options on some cars you choose the primary and it just changes certain panels and it leaves maybe the bonnet or the or the roof separate not on this occasion you choose the primary it changes everything on the car so luckily enough we can get the carbon hood uh, which is the one we're going to go for then I skipped past the horn the lights the livery and the plate went to the respray went to the primary color and then into the matte and we purchased desert tan and then for the secondary color we uh, stayed stock i.e. the colour that it was spawned in with um, because the secondary colour is all the chrome trim you see unfortunately if we do change that that will change the bumpers also which is disappointing it would have been nice if we could just change the chrome trim around the windows and maybe the wing mirrors you know and make that the same desert tan as the rest of the car but because it changes the bumpers as well I just left it chrome and this was a welcome sight for the roll cage we got the stunt cage I was so happy that we were able to get this because it is very similar to what Sean has in Tokyo Drift. For the roof, also I was really happy with this because Sean's Monte Carlo from Tokyo Drift has the same colour as what the hood is. It's kind of like a beaten up Monte Carlo. You must have seen it if you're watching this video. But it's, it's got like this yellowy desert tan matte colour and then the roof and the bonnet are like a grey black kind of matte colour. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't choose matte grey for the secondary colour, it being hopefully changing the hood and and the roof uh, but luckily enough we were able to get this vinyl roof so that kind of made up for it in my opinion it does look better without the vinyl roof in my opinion but because we're trying to stay as true to the build as we can um, we do have to go and purchase the vinyl roof then we skip past the spoiler went to the suspension I just got the street suspension for this one then for the transmission we got the race transmission and the turbo tuning now the wheels is pretty simple, wheel type into the muscle and purchase the spooner rims then we went into the wheel colour, changed that to carbon black and for the tyre we went to tyre design and changed it to the custom tyres. And a lot of the time I do finish my builds with light smoke window tint but I've come to see that a lot of these builds don't suit window tint in my opinion, this being one of them. I mean I changed it and I thought mm, yeah it don't really look that good, it might look a lot nicer if maybe we didn't have the vinyl roof for instance. Uh, but because we do, I thought it looked better with none. So that's the way I kept it. So there we go, my dudes. That is the end. That is Sean's Monte Carlo build from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. I thought this actually came out really, really well. Like I said, um, I've seen other builds using the Sabre Turbo. I myself was going to use the Sabre Turbo. Um, but then I thought about the way the Sabre Turbo looks from the front. 
and in my opinion it didn't really match up with the Monte Carlo even though this is more around an, a Chevy Nova it does have a very similar Monte Carlo front end with them headlights especially and it looks very similar from the side as well so I'm actually really stoked about how this came out like I said already the only discrepancy that I had was that we couldn't change the actual color of the the bonnet and the roof to a matte gray that would have been so much nicer if they were able to be changed with a secondary color maybe um, but as it is we've got a carbon bonnet and we've got a, a vinyl roof it kind of works um, but it's better than not having anything at all in my opinion but with all things considered I actually thought it's turned out pretty well so I'd appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think of this build down in the comments down below and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video and until next time I'm out. Adios.